An absolutely massive Halo Infinite event has just been announced by 343. Invites to the Halo Infinite flight have been sent out with a invite a friend code, as well as 343 confirming the improvements of mouse and keyboard and the change of multi-kill timers within Halo Infinite, and a whole lot more. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So no time to waste guys, let's just get right into the news. But if you like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you wanna see some more content like this and it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So the big story from yesterday was the announcement of the kickoff Major Raleigh 2021. This is the major Halo Infinite event that I was talking about for the last like month, saying that the news about it was coming right around the corner. And well, it has finally come for us and Tasha posted up a nice blog post giving some pretty good details about everything about this event, guys. This is gonna be the first in-person Halo event since DreamHack of 2020. The event takes place in Raleigh, North Carolina on December 17th through the 19th of 2021 with a prize pool of $250,000. And this event is gonna be in person as well, which is gonna be the first time we've had that since DreamHack in Anaheim, which I went to and I had a ton of fun there. But yeah, understandably, you know, things have changed since the last few times and they actually provided some information about like what you need to do to be able to join this event because obviously the situation has changed a little bit. As I mentioned with COVID protocols here that all attendees must present proof of vaccination as well as a photo ID each time they enter the venue. For those not vaccinated, you must provide proof of negative COVID test results from within at least prior 72 hours each day along with a photo ID each time they enter the venue. And as per state law, masks will be required to enter the venue as well. So glad to see that 343 and the venue are taking people's health very much into consideration and don't want to cause any issues spawning from this event. So glad to see they're willing to do that. And for those who care about this, and if you're looking to join in on this event as well, it's an open bracket. So you can jump in and test your skills against some of the best Halo players ever to be playing the game. They have pool play as well and a champion bracket for a 2014 double elimination bracket style. But don't worry, all you solo queue players, there is gonna be a free-for-all tournament along with it for a $5,000 prize pool as well. Now there's two different types of tickets you can buy. You can buy the general admission ticket, which is $50, or you can buy the VIP pass, which comes with all these extra little goodies here, guys for the price tag of $100. But before you buy your ticket, make sure you utilize one of these codes right here. Any one of these codes will get you 10% off your ticket and the team will receive that 10% on the prices. So if you're gonna go to the event, just use one of these codes. Maybe use your favorite team code if you have one. It's a way to save 10 bucks and support your Halo community. So it's a win-win. And tickets go live for purchase on September 29th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So by the time you see this video, you should be able to buy your tickets now. Now, normally I would be super hyped and be already buying my tickets and set up my Airbnb and stuff like that. But sadly enough, I have a family vacation that weekend and the event that I've been hyping up on this channel for over a month now, I'm not gonna be able to go to. The one weekend 343 decides to put their first event in over a year together is like the first week and I'm taking a vacation and out of town. Just. Just my luck, man. The Halo Gear Twitter recently just announced a partnership with Super Groupies US, providing some pretty awesome looking Halo Infinite inspired clothing. So if you're in the market for some awesome Halo Infinite gear, this might be the spot for you. you got a jacket, watch, a backpack, and a wallet, but these come at a pretty steep price. Where like this watch here, like does look really nice and it's like subtly Halo, but the Halo enough to where you can easily tell, it's $240. This jacket right here, yeah, that's $230, which for a jacket, not too crazy for a really nice high-end jacket. The backpack is $150, which is a little bit more reasonable, still kind of pricey. But this wallet, though, is what really just, like, my jaw dropped when I saw this. Because as you can see, it just looks like a wallet, like, centered leather kind of stuff, some good designs right there, like, nothing too crazy on the inside of the wallet right here, guys. But this wallet will run you $110. What? I mean, that must be some of the finest wallet material I've ever seen for a wallet to charge $110, but hey, if you want it, there you go. Next bit of information, we have some mouse and keyboard improvements coming for Halo Infinite as a prominent commentator within the Halo community. Golden Boy posted up a video talking about how 
His experience playing on mouse and keyboard, it just didn't feel quite right. And 343's community manager, Unichek, actually replied to this, saying, hey, golden boy, I spoke with the PC team and they confirmed that the improvements to performance, hitching, latency, aiming, and more that we've already made internally will give you and all PC players a first class experience at launch. There are known issues in the tech preview build, but the good news is that most of them have already been addressed internally and are guaranteed for launch. Rest assured though, we will continue to improve and optimize the experience in the area they can before launch. So generally all of it was rather vague, but it's just good to hear that 343 recognizes that, yeah, it's not perfect right now and they're definitely working on making some improvements and it's actually going to get better before the launch of the game. So that's fantastic to hear. And if any improvements come to the mouse and keyboard handling guys, you guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. This next bit is a little bit of a change for the multi-kill medals within Halo Infinite. We have a little bit of a different system than we've ever had before within the Halo game. Our favorite montage, Clip Boy himself, Mint Blitz, asked a question to Unishek about this as well. Unishek replies back, for clarification, the multi-kill timer begins at five seconds parity with Halo 5. So it's the same kind of timer with that game, which that one was increased from classic Halos, I believe was four seconds between multi-kills. Halo 5 had five seconds. But then saying that it increases 0.25 seconds her earned multi-kill with a hard cap of seven seconds at the top. So if we take a look at the medals here, so basically five seconds per, in between kills for double kills, then 5.25, 550, 575, six seconds, 625, 650, 675, seven seconds between kills to get a killionaire. Now, obviously, since this has changed, a lot of people I saw were like, no, I don't like this, move it back the way it was. Personally, I think this is actually probably a better system than to go about doing the multi-kill system because generally anything after like an overkill is when things kind of get a little bit more exciting. Like, oh my God, I might be able to hit something pretty cool here. So I actually kind of like the fact of being a little bit more generous, like saying to get that killionaire compared to like having only four seconds because sometimes with the respawn time within Halo Infinite, if you're killing players too quickly, you might just be kind of screwed over and just waiting for the respawn time for people to come up for you to get that killing air rather than lacking the ability to actually hit that shot and how many times have you seen it where someone like is on a kill catastrophe and then just as a split second too late to get that montage kill to continue the streak I think it's a fair system. I'm sure many of you guys who played the tech preview remember this new screen being kind of in the way of your whole squad, which is kind of like ruins the chance for really cool screenshots essentially. Well, we had an update right sketch the community director talking about this saying PSA, you won't have the news blocking your fire team view in the multiplayer area when it launches. This is a temporary UI setup for the multiplayer preview build. News will live on the screen above this as part of the main menu, which isn't in the build, which I'm like, thank God, because yeah, that was a terrible location to have the news and just the information section that like, covering up your Spartans, which like the whole idea of Halo Infinite's customization is to showcase how unique of a Spartan you can have and not be able to see that. Well, it kind of like defeats the purpose of doing it in the first place. Next time I'll showcase some Halo Infinite clips are some interesting things I've found as well, where one, it shows the pain degradation in real time on vehicles right here you can see as this player shoots this ghost right here that the paint kind of chips away revealing the inner workings of it but it kind of like has different ways of kind of chipping off as well to kind of have much more detailed vehicle destruction within a Halo Infinite which is something that 343 said they were going to do and it looks like they are doing just that so this is really interactive kind of damage that we've never really had before in a Halo game really awesome to see this player showcases how you can literally yeet a flag from Halo Infinite across the entirety of the map to land right next to your score zone that's a little bit of insane with this grapple shot right here now it's kind of a weird mix of like should they nerf this i think so but it's kind of one of those things where it's like it takes a lot of team coordination you have to have the grapple shot at that time and just to kind of be in the right place right time kind of situation on top of it and if you can pull it off which seems to be like a relatively high skill kind of maneuver because you have to learn how to cancel out the grapple shot at the right time so there's some certain techniques there that are starting to be utilized which i'm not quite sure if this is just like a good utilization of the sandbox or something that's actually overpowered maybe might need to get nerfed especially for the pro events you might be seeing some issues with this kind of coming around but again we'll just have to wait and see what happens with uh this for launch though i kind of have a feeling 343 will nerf this but i mean I'm sure they're aware of it. It's a very popular clip. Again, if this changes, I guarantee I'll let you guys know on this channel. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.